Hi, my name is Emily and I'm a guide with California State Parks and welcome to Sonoma State Historic Park. The most renowned historical figure of the park is General Vallejo. Born Mariano Guadalupe Vallejo on July 4, 1807, Vallejo was the eighth of 13 children and would become the most influential. At a young age, Vallejo had a love of books and languages, amassing a large personal library over his lifetime. Vallejo joined the Mexican military and quickly rose in ranks, eventually setting at the Presidio in San Francisco as the Comandante. This would also become his first home with his wife Francisca Benicia before moving north across the bay. When the Mission San Francisco Solano was secularized in 1834, Vallejo was put in charge of it. He distributed the lands to others, established the town of Sonoma, and sent most of the California Indian laborers to continue their jobs at his newly established ranch, Rancho Petaluma. In Sonoma, General Vallejo had his home, called the Casa Grande, built at the north end of the plaza. Vallejo gradually retired from active military duties to commanding the Northern District and being one of the most influential men in Alta California. His life would be turned upside down on the night of June 14, 1846, when the bear flagger showed up in Sonoma, stripped General Vallejo of his power, and sent him to prison at Sutter's Fort. The wealth and lifestyle General Vallejo once knew would never be the same. In 1850, the Sonoma Plaza was getting busier, and General Vallejo decided to move his family a few short blocks away over to this property he called La Crema Montes, or Tier of the Mountain, because of the artesian spring found up in the hillside. It was during this time that he was a senator for the Sonoma District, and later would become mayor of Sonoma twice. He also started the first water company for Sonoma here at this property. The general lived here until 1890, when he passed away. The legacy of General Mariano Guadalupe Vallejo can be seen at the family home La Crema Montes today. Originally started as a small museum by his daughter Luisa Vallejo Emperon, she eventually sold the property in the 1930s to California State Parks so that her father's accomplishments in California history would always be remembered.